Hey guys, what's up? So guess who's back? As you may have already seen from the title of this video, I'm going to talk a bit more in depth uh, about the whole government and Valve shutting down training drama. So I'm assuming that uh, you might have a close guess what I'm actually talking about right now, uh, right? Well, not long ago I've seen one of my fellow YouTubers uh, talking about this subject, that uh, how it is going to affect uh, training and to the point Valve will actually remove training for good, um, generally speaking in a really negative way. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so quoting from the Washington State Gambling Commission, by today we notified Valve that they must uh, immediately stop allowing transfer of the virtual weapons known as skins for gambling activities uh, through the company's uh, Steam platform. Ok, but uh, let's move on to the more important stuff. So further in the notice you can read that the gambling commission have issues only with uh, sites that uh, are basically used for gambling purposes and which also use the system of automated bots for uh, the item transfer. However, they never mention anything about training between users and many people overhype this and say that uh, um, this is so what called uh, the official end of uh, training. And these people make assumptions based on the false information they get. And the absolute worst thing about all this is that these people actually share this opinion, share this uh, false assumption with their friends, basically all the people they know, in people in general. But yeah, to correct the rumors, uh, the gambling commission have zero interest in ruining the economy of uh, Valve. What they're actually trying to do is ruin the possibility to gamble online if you are under 18 years old. Now I'm not really sure about this, but um, I'm assuming that uh, gambling is uh, basically prohibited in most of the countries around the world if you are under 18 years old, which is a good thing in my opinion. And again, uh, 100 people have 100 tastes and 100 opinions. The skins will be always considered as a virtual currency and therefore it shouldn't be really considered or maybe even compared to real world money. Uh, the thing is, you don't actually have to spend money on games uh, to gamble these virtual items. You can easily obtain these virtual items by many different ways. And namely, training them as I do, for example, maybe winning some kind of giveaway, maybe winning some kind of raffle. But yeah, I think I get uh, their point. Gambling is really risky and it's basically unpredictable. Therefore, a wise person uh, shouldn't even consider trying uh, to gamble. Which gets me to the another point of this video. But uh, why is it so that uh, people are angry on Valve uh, for shutting down all the gambling websites? Why are people worried of uh, the next economic crash? Basically, I will try my best to explain the whole situation. But to do so, I will need to start uh, from a long time ago. So hopefully you will get my point. Okay, I do realize that this will sound uh, pretty weird, but uh, keep up with me. Okay, so let's imagine we are in some kind of uh, travel machine and let's actually move a few months back to the time when trading and gambling virtual items was at its uh, quote-unquote best state. In my opinion, uh, basically all parents around the world uh, were mad because their kids were wasting money on video games and its futures like gambling and what they did is that uh, they made up a petition to stop this. Now I do realize that uh, it is illegal to gamble in most of the countries if you are under 18 years old. Which is a good thing, I have nothing against that. So obviously I'm not here to support gambling in any way, because it's simply stupid and it's a waste of money. Uh, let's actually stop here and talk for a second. So now I don't really want to sound rude or mean by saying this, but literally the only argument uh, these angry parents had was that their kids were betting on CSGO gambling sites and they lost a lot of money by doing so. Ok, so let's try to imagine a few of these people. So obviously they try to make their kids look poor in front of everyone. Like you know, they are only kids, they, they, they are known for doing mistakes. Now we are not uh, obviously talking about uh, freaking 3 year old kids uh, using their mom's credit card to gamble and lose like, I don't know, 5 grand meanwhile. We are talking here mostly about like, I don't know, 11 to 15 year old kids. So again, hypothetically speaking, if you are happen to be a parent by any chance and your kid thinks that gambling is a good way how to earn money easily, then you probably need to have some kind of serious um, talk with them. 
It's not the kid's fault, uh, it's your fault for being a bad parent. Like at first I didn't really want to include any emotions to this video, but really it pisses me off when someone is going to argue with uh, stuff like, oh you know, poor kid, you are the bad parent and don't try to act innocent, period. But yeah, uh, now you may be asking why am I even talking about this? Okay, so there's obviously uh, an explanation why all items start to drop from all of a sudden. Well, basically, uh, let's imagine some guy, um, let's say he has a knife. He decided to sell this knife for insanely low amount. This guy asked himself, what if uh, this is the official end of training? What if uh, tomorrow this knife uh, will be worthless? And decided to quick sell this, uh, this knife for, let's say, 50% off. And what happened next is, uh, for example, his friend noticed that also and he decided to quick sell as well. And uh, this didn't take long and a ton of people joined in and followed each other like uh, sheeps, which is in my opinion one of the most stupid things um, the human can do. And if you happen to be a trader like me, then you should know the big part of trading is risking. And obviously I didn't follow my friends like a sheep and I quickly made well over 500 keys of clear profit, uh, meanwhile other people were quick selling. And basically I recovered from my past loss. Uh, just by reselling items to people, uh, to quote unquote cheaps, decided to sell for low. And guess what? It was actually worth it. Trading is not that at any chance. Uh, in fact, I made well over 3000 euro in the uh, past few months. But what is the conclusion? Well, I was trying to say that uh, if there will be uh, one person who will sell their items under value, it's simply not going to affect anything. That's okay, that's perfectly fine, but it won't affect anyone however when uh, this person will be followed by another and yet another person that will make a difference. And actually huge effect uh, on the whole community. I really wanted to keep this video positive, but that uh, that's really what it is. In my opinion, Valve won't ever disable trading or cashing out. Uh, there will be always an option. And also there will be always uh, some kind of way how to trade and how to make profit. Please don't be that person who will act like a stupid cheap and follow the other person next to him or next to her. Please don't take this as if I'm uh, mad or... Because obviously there was a big fuss uh, around this uh, subject in general. Uh, the only reason why I haven't made a video yet uh, about the first quote-unquote economic crash is because I wanted to see how it will, how the things will grow. But the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, nothing is really going to happen unless every one of us is going to follow uh, each other like a sheep and is going to quick sell everything uh, we have. So that's basically all I wanted to say. Please uh, stay positive guys and see you all until the next one.